2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball Six Box Half Case Break Number Six. Almost got that all out smoothly. Well, I mean, if he's going to take my money, then, like, just no. If you're getting... I, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't like it. Probably a more mature way to handle that. Uh, but that's what I went with. It worked out. What about you guys? Anybody ever got some sleaze bag in there? Take advantage of you? Hate that shit. Drives me crazy. It's just fucking baseball cards. It's supposed to be fun. Teams, recording. We're good. There was no frame in the first half. I hope sh there's one in this half. That sucks. Everyone always feels so safe to do it on eBay. Yeah, well, the glasses are so that I can see. <laughs> I don't want lasers or whatever contacts are made out of touching my eyeballs. I tried contacts. It didn't work out. I tried them several times. After I got that pepper stuck in my eye, that was it for contacts. You guys remember that? Oh my God, that was horrible. I had to dig my eyeball out. It was red for like two months, like all the way red for like three weeks. Dude, how about uh, the MJ no. at Nationals, Andy? That had to have been a fucking heart attack. I am in one of them. I think... They always show up on my feed. And... I mean, it gets around fast. Like, it, 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 if you screw over one breaker, every breaker knows. Almost immediately. It's like the only time group breakers talk to each other. <laughs> There's always like a, oh, hi, by the way, at the end, and I got to go sort. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. They, uh, they fixed it, though, right? When you took it back? Do you remember when we were at trade night? And, uh... That dude had the Frank Thomas no name as a nine. He was just handing it around like it was candy. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, look at it. I'm like, bro, are you sure that's real? Or not trimmed? Because it 
doesn't fit in that holder so well. Oh, I didn't say that to him. I was like, that's a really nice, how do you say that to somebody? <laughs> that's a really nice card. That was it. Like I wasn't gonna buy it, even if it was real. It's looking like $10,000 card at the time. Probably like 25 now. Have you seen what Frank Thomas rookie cards are going for right now? It's ridiculous. You could have bought one last summer for 80 bucks, Leaf, PSA 10. Now they're going for like 400. Card market is insane. You guys got old cards, go look at them, get them out, look up completed sales on eBay, and uh, probably going to be pretty happy if you looked at them anytime recently in the last three years. I know, I know, I don't understand it either. I do like PSA better than I like Beckett. Um, I don't know. I like the holders better. I like Beckett's labels better. I like PSA's holders better. I like the fact that Beckett sleeves their cards and actually seals the sleeve on the card and then encases it. I like that it's etched into the little nameplate instead of just some printed out piece of paper. Nugenics, man. I'd come on here and talk to you guys about Nugenics if they gave me 10 bucks. <laughs> Probably not. What is that, a boner pill? I can't even imagine what my Jordans are worth. They're not even good. Cabral told me he bought a box of whatever upper deck to try to get the baseball card. For like a hundred and fifty bucks, I'm like that. That that box was like ten dollars all day for the last fifteen years. Uh, SGC needs to. I mean, it's just an ugly ass holder. If they got a little more modern with their holder design and I mean it's you know who are they gonna lose they don't have any modern collectors sending them anything they're gonna lose the old guys the old guys are gonna die like the new guys aren't gonna be attracted to old ass shit just because they start getting older, they're going to be attracted to the same thing they've been seeing, which is not SGC, and they are ugly. They have a weird point system, too, that no one's really used to. What, like, out of 100? Like, how do you get, like, a 93 on a card? Is that good, or is that bad? Testosterone enhancer? <laughs> no, I've seen the commercials. I just don't. You can't enhance your testosterone from a pill. <laughs> it's not how it works. Maybe if you want to fuck up your whole endocrine system, good luck with that.
Oh, did they? Nice. It's changed. They changed it. 0.5. That's good. Yeah, man. I mean, if they're anything's better, right? Uh, Nolan Ryan to 50. Eric Hosmer to 99. I wish they stamped these a little bit deeper so you could actually see it. Like I got to look at his waner to see his serial number. Come on. G.D. Martinez. That guy and that guy. Oh, you bought a bunch of those uh, baseball boxes? Not What is it, 91 upper deck? Oh, that's cool. It's cool. We haven't pulled one of these. Chris Bryant, show or superstar show pieces. At 25. Cubs, shooter. There you go. I wish I was there to give you a high five right now. No, I don't. That'd be weird. We're not allowed to go that close to each other. But internet high five, ready? Boom. PC sauce right there. Mueller. Javi, one out of one? They only made one of these cards? That's crazy. You didn't have to. It just happened. Shooter, crushing. I think Javi's my favorite cub. I like how intense he is. <laughs> People used to do that. Like they'd, if we're doing, I used to break a lot. Um, <clears throat> so if we'd be going like all day long, get a big hit, they'd order me like a pizza. Give me a dinner break. Dustin Pedroia, Xander Bogertz. That one's the 50. I have nothing against the Cubs. Nothing. They don't have anything to do with my team other than the fact that they play in the same city. I like the White Sox are very good anyway. Ever. Uh, Dylan Batances to 199. I am a White Sox fan. I am not a Cubs hater. City divided into unequal parts, severely favoring the North. Masahiro Tanaka to 99. That's cool. That jersey's all like bent and frayed out. Yankees. I 
I am a White Sox fan. Scotty Pods, baby. More of a Joe Creedy fan. Scotty Tuhati was never really my guy. Rice Hoskins to 99. Ooh, Dooley. Francisco Lindor, Jose Ramirez to 15. Indians as national champs. Creedy was so good. So underrated. I think he was the best third baseman in baseball for at least five years in a row. Ooh, is that Ty Cobb? Yes, it is. Nice. I like those canvas cards. It'd be cool to put together like just a base set of these. Cheap, fun, probably pretty easy to build. Jack Peterson to 50. God, the Angels were so good. Their bullpen was disgusting. Ugh. Sandy Colfax to 99. Oh, Andrew Jones to 15. Braves. There you go, Bulldog. Do you remember the blackout when they had the, the playoff game the next year or the play-in game? And they won 98 games and had to play a, a tiebreaker. Juan Soto to 99. Or the year after when they won 93 games but didn't make the playoffs. Even when we're good, we're not. This year will be fun, though. 50 out of 50. David Ortiz, Dustin Pedroia. Or, I don't know if I can say this year. The next year that happens should be fun. Luis Severino. Juan Soto to 50 for Solier. Oh, I don't even want to talk about the strikes shortened season, but let's do it. Two best teams in baseball in a very, very long time. Very long time. Arguably, only with Ken Griffey Jr., the best player in baseball at the time was Frank Thomas. Could have won four MVPs in a row, if not for a strike and a PED monster who was taking horse, testosterone, Jason Giambi. Jackie Bradley Jr. Yeah, that year, the strike year, the uh, not the Nationals, the Expos and the White Sox. That was it, man. Those teams were... <sighs> Sean Manea to 299. A's. Will Fung.
Whit Merrifield to 199. Honus Wagner. Quad for the Mets. Conforto, Alonzo, Rosario, and Nemo to 99. I was reading about uh, weird surprise baseball MVPs. <laughs> I don't know if it was today or yesterday. Two out of ten, Paul Goldschmidt. They had Ichiro's rookie season in there that was like, okay. Um, who else was in there? Terry Pendleton. Terry Pendleton. Ken Caminiti. Juice and Giambi. Michael Kolpak to two ninety nine. Yeah. There's another super underrated guy. Made it worse by going to Arizona. What the hell? DD Yankees to two ninety nine. Who's your guys' favorite cub? like the Braves everyone's got a favorite Roberto Clemente man how about when he went to anytime all-time cup when he went to Oakland he only played for like oh, almost half a season maybe 60 percent he very easily could have won the MVP that year, too. 15 out of 25. Javier Baez. Mark Grace. I think mine's Ryan. Or um, Derek Clark. Danny Jansen? No, that wasn't his name. Why can't he think of his name? The... Derek Lee, yes. That's right. Thank you. Another DD to 50. Oof. Showstoppers, Cal Ripken Jr. to 25.
Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Ernie Banks, Corey Seager, Tanaka to 150, and Castellanos to 75. That is it on this one. Thank you, everybody, very much. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.